How do you pronounce that? Bulia Bulus? You know? How do you pronounce that? Bulus. Lac de Bulus. So we've turned up here at Lac de Bulus, which is a very popular walking uh, hike. We're going to start at 2,000 meters and go up to 3,000, and we cover 12 different small lakes on the walk. Must be good though, because they charge you five euros on the bus to get here. And on top of that, you've got to have a ah, you've got to have a muzzle for the dog, which has just fallen off. So we're just going to rework that. <laughs> so, so what do we think of the walk in nature so far? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> So it turns out that if you arrive before 7 a.m. or after 9 p.m., you can actually come up to the car park at the top here, which is actually a lot better. If you've got a camper van, you can even park down there, which is a lovely spot, and it looks like it's free of charge. That's the way to do it. So the walk here in the French Pyrenees starts off crossing a dam, which is all very nice, actually. We are, we've got four miles, or just over four miles it is, so six and a half kilometers, and we're heading up to the peak up there. You can see at the top with a bit of snow, that's where we're heading. So most of it is in the tree line, and um, the higher point there it's going to be a mountain range that takes us to 3,000 meters. So we set off quite early, it's 9 a.m. Uh, just so it doesn't get too hot. And uh, I think the walk should be about six hours. We've, we've got the, uh, the kids with us, which are age 12 and 14, uh, and, uh, and loads of food as well. So yeah, looking forward to it. I've got factor 50 on my head. Clearing the tree line now, it's starting to get a bit steeper. Uh, as you can see, we've probably only done about, I don't know, four tenths of the altitude. What do you reckon? Back in the snow line again. Scoob's there enjoying a good bit of uh, cooling the belly down. 
Ah, oh, we're getting there. It's pretty good, isn't it, Scoobs? What do you reckon? Look at that view there. Come across a bit. There we go. That's better, isn't it? That view there, look at that. So we've got the final uh, bit to do, which is the bit behind me there, as you can see. Um, we are three hours and 20 minutes in. So I guess it's gonna take us, with all the stops, about four hours to hit the summit. With uh, young children, or youngish, is that uh, you need a pack horse dad. And luckily my man Dave here is just the man for that job. <laughs> This morning he set out with a backpack of about 15 kilos, mostly of water and food. And um, to keep the, the kids going with energy, we've stopped sort of like every hour on the way up with, with amazing treats. It's, it feels like it's Christmas, all wrapped up in his bag. There's Christmas dinner, Christmas breakfast, treats, sweets, the whole lot. From Marjorie up here. <laughs> Look at that, loaf of bread. We've already eaten half of it. Oh, look, there's a load of pâtés. Yeah. Nuts, 10 litres of water, survival bag, igloo. Oh, look at that hat. Put that on the dog. Eskimo hat. <laughs> yeah, Scoot, doesn't look at you. Seats you, sir. Look up, look up. Can't see your face. Yeah. Scooby seems to be doing all right so far in the grade one scrambling. And, uh, as you can see, the thunder clouds are moving in. We seem to hit it lucky every time, me and Scoops. I thought we could walk along the top, Dave. Look, it's got a really nice walk along the top. 10 minutes from the top, Scoops, and it started raining. Does that say 10 minutes? It? No, I'm just, no I'm just guessing. That's a great shot there, you guys, just coming around that thing. Uh, it's great, that. That's where we're going. This is the steepest bit. It's okay. About 35 degrees. Sure is beautiful here. Heavy rain, which looks to me to be a good mountain away. So my guess would be four miles. I guess it depends which way the wind's blowing. Which way is the wind blowing? Look. Okay, so it might not come to us then. Hey, Scoobs, look. Four wheel drive Scoobs, hey? Go on, four wheel drive Scoobs. You're loving this, aren't you? So there we have it. Another thousand meter hike. That's pretty damn good, I'd say. Don't want to go down there, it's quite a drop that. That is like Gribgok. Yeah, good. Thunder's behind us. Well, not behind us, but it's there. Pick Carlet, 2,927 or one meters. Awesome. What do you reckon, guys? Have a good time? Yeah. Brilliant, I'm not hanging around here. <laughs> there we go. That's awesome, huh? Oh, there's a big lake down there, look. So you don't fancy having a bit of lunch up here then, Dave? Not with that storm brewing, no, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Storm's over there in that mountain range nearby. Next one. Apparently, if you're on top of a mountain, you're the prime earthing spot for lightning. Metal stick should be good for it. We're all right. Yeah, my metal stick. <laughs> what, the one with the GoPro on the end? <laughs> Electrifying view on top of this mountain. See that, folks? This could be my last post. So, Scoobs, this is camera 
This is a camera bag cam. Does this work? I don't know, let's try it. Might get us both in. So we're getting down from the mountain because it's getting a bit dark again. It's a bit difficult, the uh, the stuff on the way down. On the way up, it's a bit easier. Scoobs is managing pretty good though. A couple of bits you have to lift her over. Obviously the upward power is better than the uh, over here scoops. That's it. Not hand. There we go. There you go. See? Teamwork. Yeah, down here. Uh, swim might be uh, out of hand now as it's actually starting to rain quite a bit. Just met a guy that's walking the whole Pyrenees. He says could be 40 days. He's got a 18 litre, 18 uh, kilo rucksack. I think he's just heading up. Oh, he's gone around the corner now. No, he's there, look. You can just see the uh, orange rucksack. That's commitment, isn't it? Anyway, we're heading down the rain. Hopefully Scoobs will keep warm enough. Okay, Scoobs, come in. Come in, girl, you have to come back up. You have to waste your energy, darling. Come and get me. Very nice of you, though. You're a good girl, aren't you? You're expecting a good dinner tonight, aren't you? And a big cuddle. I know. Over there. Look. Ooh. Scooby, look. What's that? It's thunder. What's that, Scooby? It's thunder. Come in. Right, let's go, then. Well, they said there was a storm coming at three o'clock and they weren't lying, were they, Scoops? In fact, the uh, hailstones are so big that they're actually uh, hitting me head. <laughs> you can feel them. Oh, Scoops, have I forgot your war winter... Your... Oh, let's get down here. Have I forgot your waterproof coat again. I'm a bit crap, aren't I? Well, uh, hopefully it won't last too long. Hopefully. Hopefully, girl. Once we get off here, we can start moving a bit faster and that'll keep us warm. There's the guys down there. This is pocket cam. You probably can't see him. That's lightning. It really, is. It really has come in. Listen to that. Something about being two and a half, no, 2,900 meters. Oh, that hailstones are really hard on the head. I'm gonna have to get my hat out. A bit of protection. Whoa, heavens have opened up, Scoops. We are gonna get wet. Oh, they're really hurting. Oh, those hailstones. Right, Steve, come on, let's find a rock. Come on, come here. Okay, in there, in there, Steve, in there, in here, in there, in there. Woo! They are painful. Oh, that's really turned for the worst. This shows you that you should always have the right equipment with you. And I don't have my waterproof trousers. And I'm hoping the iPhone, which is waterproof, but it's got a crack in it. Because this is all, all these paths now you see are turning uh, to uh, like a flow of water, which uh, causes a bit of a slip hazard. Uh, my shoes are now soaking wet just within that look in just a, a few minutes the hail has changed the landscape from a beautiful lakes and blue sky to almost um, a frozen February what are you doing silly that was deeper than you thought wasn't it so the storms and the rain stopped and I've just realised that I've left, in the rush to get up this morning, I've left my skylight window open. And if it's been as heavy raining here as it has been at the campsite, it's 
going to be very wet inside the van, which it could cause a lot of problems. Hey Scoops, you wet? It's been a good walk.